Hey, my friends, thank you so much for joining me today for our summary of weekly Bible study. This is Pastor Cannon here at CN Jenkins. And today we continued from our study of last week on John chapter nine. This is the story of Jesus healing the man who was born blind by spitting on the ground, making mud, putting it on his eyes and tell him to go to wash. Last week's study, we looked at the confrontation or the conversation, shall we say, between the church rulers because they accused this man to have still have been a sinner and the one who healed him to be a sinner because it happened on the Sabbath. Of course, we talked about the rules of the church, old school and new school rules, of things that are prohibited on the Sabbath. And we do also know that the Sabbath was made for humans, not humans for the Sabbath, meaning that God really wants us to have a special time of praise, worship, or concentration on his word. Today's study, y'all, was about the encounter of the blind man once he could see and he finally saw Jesus. Jesus raised a question that's basically said, now do you believe? Do you believe in the one who healed you? And the brother says, look, I didn't know who healed me. All I know, I was blind, but now I see. And at that moment, Jesus says, well, my man, you're looking at the one who healed you. And the Bible tells us in verse 40 of chapter 9, at that moment, the man began to worship God. The good news, y'all, is that you don't have to be in church to worship God. You can worship God right where you are. Now, the challenge to which this lesson presented itself for us is Jesus really talking about being spiritually blind. And of course, that is something that the church needs to take a check up from the neck up and always raise the question, are we spiritually blind when it comes to revealing the love as well as the forgiveness of Almighty God? So friends, I invite you to turn in your Bible, spend some time with it. John chapter 9, it's the story of Jesus healing the blind man. If you want a copy of the Bible study, don't forget to go to www.cnjenkins.org and you can get all the notes for today's study as well as join us next week, next week as we continue our work through the book of John. Thank you again. This is Pastor Cannon. And don't forget, if you're looking for a place where you can grow in the Lord, we want you to be a part of CN Jenkins. So call the church, email me, email Pastor Lanson, go to the website. We will connect you to a body of Christ that really loves and cares about your spiritual growth. Y'all have a great week.